Storytelling is something our ancestors did as a way of entertainment. I guess to spread moral messages and maybe spread the word of their wisdom speakers and wisdom seekers that preceded them. And yeah, kind of reiterating those stories and moving them forward into the next generations. Maybe that's how historically storytelling started. I explored this topic with um, well, personal stories of two influential communicators in this arena. First was Lara Matosian, who has more recently uh, dived into the world of narrating children's books and that followed an interview with Rowan Roberts who is a science communicator and for this video I wanted to give you my personal take on storytelling. Just the importance of it as a tool. I mean first off it allows you to tune in to things that weren't or would have been ordinarily dismissed. You know, just the mundane things in life that we do. It's a really handy tool um, to to be able to captivate people's attention um, using mundane things as well. And maybe it's also more important because I'm speaking to you at a time where the world is only trying to seek out all this hyper novelty and I'm struggling to come to terms with it. Uh, yeah, but going back to storytelling, which is what uh, today's topic is about. I, I do feel like these days one is forced to come into conversations by proving hard that their intentions are good or noble because the default assumption is always that it's not. I think it's driven by a, a collective ideology of fear. The, the theme of fear in storytelling, let's put it that way, has been, uh, I guess, in really hyper expression at the moment. And that, you know, I would rather that it would be generated through, sorry, that's my phone. I would rather that it be generated through like the philosophy of, of love, you know, I like this, uh, both hands joined together emoji that my friend just sent me uh, when you heard the ping before. There you go, that's another storytelling and one emoji. That's a whole different topic. How do we storytell using emojis only? That's what I was talking about earlier. It's the same way TikTok is kind of uh, compressed storytelling into this um, dopamine hit, which is so short in time span that you need to swipe uh, to get the next one. That's that's. That's pretty intense, I think. That's a pretty damaging <laughs> uh, aspect of um, storytelling in the hands of people who have learned the algorithm's uh, capacity to manipulate someone's attention. <laughs>